Yes, let us start to discuss uh, descriptive statistics. It is one of the important topic for uh, data science and analytics. To understand the fundamentals involved in this uh, data science, which we have to learn. So this basics already you are familiar also. But related to the data science, you have to understand what is this mean, medium, mode. So the, this and all. So we will start with uh, introduction. Descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics summarize and organize characteristics of the data sets. The data set is collection of data set is collection of responses or observation from the sample or entire populations. The last class we discussed. So the last class we discussed about uh, sampling. So how to you know select random sample and then sample size sampling frame and all we discussed. So from this you have to understand this there are entire there, totally there are different you know, there are more number of responses or observations there from there how we can apply our statistical concept. So another point is quantitative research after collecting. After collecting the data the first steps of statistical analysis is to describe characteristics of the response. So whatever response you collected whatever you have observation from that we have to see why well, we have to uh, give us some statistical report such as average of one variable for example age average age of age and then relation between two variable age and creativity so like this there are some example you can take and uh, discuss we'll take and discuss uh, this is the descriptive statics we'll understand while tell you one by one so types of descriptive statistics there are three types of descriptive statistics one is distributions concerns of the frequency of each values the values which are generated so the distribution of the values frequency of each values and the central tendency concern of the average values the mean medium mode uh, coming under central tendency and then variability or dispersions concern how spread out the values are standard deviations and variance so those things we are going to study here. So descriptive types of descriptives. There are three main types of descriptives. One is distribution, central tendency, variability. So this you can understand here. Measurements of uh, measurements of you know central tendency. It's mean, medium, mode. Measures of variability range, standard deviation, variation, interquartile, quartile range. So these so these topics we are going to learn from here. We'll start with some example some research example to understand what actually we are going to discuss and uh, learn from here. So for example, uh, the study the popularity of different lesser activities by the center, lesser activities. For example, going to library, watch a movie at the theater, visit the national parks like this. There are lesser activities by the center is there for male or female. Now we need to do a survey. So distribute a survey and ask past participants how many times they did each of the following in the past year each of the following in the past year the previous year so how many times they done go to library how many times watch movie or how many times see the national bar how many times your data is it is a collection of responses collection of responses or observation what we discussed previously from the survey we can get it so now so what is that you have to understand distribution distribution means what so you can use descriptive statistics to find out overall frequency of each activity overall frequency of each activity distributions the average of each activity central tendency we'll kind of find out mean medium like this and the spread of the responses for each activity variability so, so we try to try to understand the difference of different types of descriptive statistics one is distributions that is overall frequency of each activity like for example go to a library watch a movie visit the national park overall frequency of each activities the average average of each activities go to library or average of average you can find and then spread of reference uh, responses for each activity the variability the difference so that and all will coming under the variability so this from the this example you have to understand what we are going to learn here yeah, the first one is frequency distributions the data sets made up of distribution of values or scores in each graphs you can summarize the frequency of every possible values of variable in number of percentage. This is called you know, frequency distribution. For example, you can understand from the example, center and number, male 182, female 235. What is that? 
you list out possible answer to the and the left hand column you can count the number or percentage of response for each answer display on the right hand column so male 182 times female 235 235 other 227 from this table you can see more women than men or people with other another center identity took part in the study so this is what you have to the frequency distribution table so you have to record the observation and responses that is called frequency distribution how many times the count you have to mention here so that is one i type another type grouped frequency so for example 0 to 4 6 percentage so library received in the past year 0 to 4 60 percentage 5 to 8 20 percentage this is grouped one so that one is distributions so the percentage of response for each answer this display on the right hand column so it's like list out all possible answer the answer on the left hand side for example male the values you have to see that so this is frequency distributions this one is grouped frequency distributions you can group numerical response values and add up the number of response for each group zero to four how many times how many percentage you can convert each of these numbers to percentage five to eight age groups so how many how much percentage they visited so like this so from this table we can understand so group to frequency distribution from this understand so most of the people visit a library between 5 and 16 uh, 16 times in the past years so right so 16 also 5 and 16 so that groups are visited more in pa last year so this is group to frequency distributions and measure of central tendency so this and all some familiar concept only because already you know the mean medium mode and all so here central tendency it's a average so is estimate the center or average of data sets mean medium mode this very familiar you are all but we try to understand according to the data sets what we are doing here for example the data sets given here so 15 3 20 0 24 like this so what usually we'll do all the data sets values are added now so all will be added we'll get 57 here now total number of responses it is six now mean we have to find out so mean of the mean average how we can find out divide the sum of the values 57 and uh, divide by uh, then total number of responses total number of responses six so we'll get six nine point five nine point five this is called mean so it is coming under central tendency in your syllabus it's given central tendency means what so you estimate the center or average of a data sets the mean medium mode are three ways of finding the average so we will have a demos we have we can have a demonstration here so how to calculate mean medium mode this is examples and formula you know already the facing formula mean equal to the n now total number one by n and one to n you have to count x of y so this is you know add, adding of summation of all the values the total you will get the total values divided by n and medium you know that middle values when data is harder mode is most frequent values so these things we have to study again the next slide you can see here the measure of central tendency estimate the center okay we know that now what is medium the so medium is the value that exactly in the middle of the data sets for example if we take this data set order data sets 0 3 3 12 15 24 so really six items are there middle numbers the 3 and 12 so by adding this number and divide by 2 it is 7.5 so medium of this particular data set is 3.5 means 7.5 you have to remember these things though it is a uh, no uh, a fundamental you should remember when you solve the data science problem that time you have to calculate and you have to find out there are many things are there so middle numbers take the middle numbers to find out the mediums next one is mode next one is mode so mode is see that the mode is simply the most popular or most frequent response values the data sets can have no mode one mode or more than one mode we try to understand from this example 0 3 3 12 15 24 is there from this what is the frequent values here so three is a frequent values how many times two times is coming so find the most frequently occurring response it is three that is called mode that is called mode so it is all three that is mean medium mode all three is come coming and coming under central value central value
So here, this mode number of uh, library receipts order data sets, it is three. It is three. The find the most frequently occurring response is three, right? So this is coming under this is coming under uh, central tendency. This is coming under central tendency. This is very important one you have to remember. So this is the first. Uh, this is data science. So introduction to data science and analytics. So this we have to remember properly. Is this PPT is visible? Next, I am going to see. Going to uh, discuss right uh, measure of variability. Is it visible? Yes, sir. It is visible. <laughs> Measure of variable team. You can see that uh, this you can sense that how spread out the responses values are. So that is a measure of you know variability. It's a variance, you know, variance how it is variance are the difference we'll find out right. The range, uh, standard deviation, and variance each other reflect different aspect of the spread, how spreading out of the response values are. We have given data sets are given. Now from the range, how we can find out the range, the highest values. Divided by um, uh, subtracted by lowest values. So here the given. The range gives an idea of how far apart from the most extreme response score are here. So to find the range, simply subtract the lowest values from the highest values. So what is the difference? We can understand. So that is called range. Now. We how the standard deviations. So standard deviations, yes, are ST, the average amount of variability in your data sets. So average, how we can find out that from this example, we can understand, right? So here you can see raw data is given 15, 3, 12, 0, like this is given. So you can find this uh, medium, medium 9.5. So medium, you can see is the sum of all the values divided by this number. So how many numbers are there? Six. So now you'll get 9.5. Now deviation from the mean. So mean we know 9.5. So what is the difference? The deviation from the mean, how we have to find out? This is what the difference. So 15 minus 9.5, 5.5 is there. And square of the deviation, 5.5 square of 5.2, it's a 30.25. So when you put it in a calculator, so square of 5.5, 5.5 power 2, so it is 30.25. So like this 3 minus 9.5 minus 6.5 when you do square it will be plus so 42.25 like 12 minus 9.5 2.5 so that value is also 6.25 so 0, point, 0 minus 9.5 minus 9.5 so like this all the you know deviation from the mean will be calculated then what we have to do the square deviations whatever deviations are there square of the you know deviation you have to write like this is you know, already you are familiar also. And then all will be will be values are written like this. Then sum of this guide, all will be summed now. All will be summed. So what is the steps we are following here? List each score and find their mean. So mean will be done. Subtract the mean from the each score, get the deviation from the mean. So this is the second step. Square each of the deviations. Square will be done. Add up all the square deviations. Okay, adding will be done. 4, 2.1.5. Divide the sum of the square deviation by n minus 1. Here you see there's not 6. It should be n minus 1. So 4 to 1.5 divided by 5, it is 8, 84.3. So that is a step 5. Divide the sum of the square divisions, square divisions by n minus 1. Then you do that, find the square root of the number you found. That is 9.18. The square root values is the standard deviations. The square root is the standard deviation. You look at the steps what we done here. So average each. So you can say that an average each score deviates from the mean by 9.18 points. So that is what we find standard deviations. So standard deviation is 9.18. When you find out the all the deviations and we done squared deviations after squared deviations we done we divide by uh, n minus one then we got uh, 84.3. Then root of this 84.53, that is the uh, 9.18. This 9.18, what is the meaning of this? So that is the average. Each 
score deviates from the mean by 9.18 points. So this is the idea of you know, how to calculate the standard deviations. Standard deviations. The next one is variance. So variance, so standard deviance 9.18, S power 2, it is a variance. So variance is S power 2. So 9.18, 84.3, that is called variance. So variance is average square deviation from the mean. Variance reflects the degree of the spread in the data sets. The more spread data, larger than the variance is the relation to the mean. So find out the variance, simply square the standard deviations. The symbol of the variance is S power squared, S power 2. So S is the standard deviance, deviance. Then variance is S power 2. So what is the meaning of this variance? So variance reflect the degree of the spread in the data sets. What is the degree of spread in the data sets? The more spread the data, the larger the variance in is relation to the mean. So just now to try to understand what formula is involved here. Later we can, from the example, you can understand how these values are used here. So now some formulas also. This formula based on this variance, standard deviation, range, right? From this you have to understand some formulas. This formula you are familiar only. Variance how we can calculate, right? Then uh, simple variance formula, S power squared, one, 1 by n minus 1, then x of y equal to x power, that's difference, power goes for 2. So this is variance, how it, the formula is there. So here square root of this variance is standard deviations, right? So this is what uh, you have to understand this formula, it is available. Let's go through this formula also. The measure of degree which variable change together, covariance. Positive covariance indicates that variable move in the same direction. Negative covariance indicates that move in positive direction. So this formula you have to follow for covariance. Then this one is you know, kurtosis, measure of tiredness of the distribution. There also formula is there. We know this value term, this term, um, variance. So we know that you know, variance. So accordingly, you can understand this one also, xi minus x power, whole power 4 minus 3. This part we can discuss some more uh, later topics are there, kurtosis, we'll study later. Now we can go to this five point summary. Five point summary is a very important one. So minimum smallest value, five point summary minimum, quartile 1, 25th, uh, 25 percentile, medium 50 percentile, and then Q3, 75 percentile maximum. These five are called five point summary. So this is also very important descriptive statistics you have to understand. So descriptive statistics is the basic, the fundamentals of data science. What is available, you have to learn it. So this should have idea. So we will understand by this example. The five point summary is a quick way to describe the data sets. It consists of five values. The summary is the descriptions. We also studied in our tool. Our tool there we have a, one keyword summary, summary of the data sets. So when you give that, that will be printing that all values, minimum, maximum, Q1, Q3, medium, all values. So how it is done, we can understand through some calculation here. One sample data sets. So 56, 58 like this, there are five, 11 values are there. So from this 11 values available in the data sets, from this we have to calculate, steps to calculate the five point summary. Order the data first. It is already ordered. So from the starting from the smallest number to it is highest number, ascending order is there. From this we can find easily minimum values and maximum value. Minimum value is 56, maximum value is 80. So five point summary, these two values already we know that. Now medium. So medium is already medieval, middle of the values. So out of 11, you can take it the sixth values. So sixth values in the order is 68, is a medium. So medium always the middle of the values. If not in the middle, there are two values will be taken and average will be taken, right? This is the fourth component. So order fourth step, that is medium is Q2 values. So find the middle of the values. And first to quartile. So first to quartile always the medium of the lower half of the data. Medium of, of the medium of the lower half of the data. Lower of first you know, five values should be taken. So from the medium, you have to take the first half. So first half when you take, from that you take the medium of the lower half of the data, it is a 60. So third value of the lower half. 
so that is the quarter one the first quartile so first quartile uh, second thing second q3 third quartile so this is the medium of the upper value of the data from the medium you have to take the next five values 70 72 75 it's there in this you have to take middle value 75 this is q3 so minimum 56 first quartile is a 60 25 percentage medium 68 q3 third quartile is 75 maximum is 80 so like this the five point summary you have to calculate so this is what the basics are available in the descriptives so and a five point summary what should be there minimum smallest values q1 25th percentage value which 25 percentage of the data falls the first half you take medium 15th you know, fifth, uh, fifth, uh, fifth percentage median value of the data sets after finding the medium only we can take uh, quartile 1 and then quartile q3 so value from which 70 percent of the data falls so this one so the example is given here from this you can understand out of the values Minimum maximum you can easily find. Medium values, middle of the value you have to take. Because we have 11 values, from the 11 values you can take 60 values. And then uh, first quartile is that from the medium you take the first, you know, lowest values. From there you find out the medium uh, medium values. Then second of highest values you take it, upper half of the data you take it. From there you take in the so middle values. So like this you can do it like this. So we can put it in a visualization also that we can discuss later. So this is about the five point summary so this is about the five point summary so as given in the syllabus that is descriptive statistics central tendency this expression is nothing but this variable the deviations variance covariance cortex is five point summary we discussed right the cortex is still some more uh, topics are there that we'll discuss in the next session so these are the things you have to understand Descriptive and statistics and this topics, you know, you have to remember properly and the types methods of descendant central tendency mean medium mode. So mean medium average of all the values divided by number of count of the items. The medium middle values mode will be frequently occurred values range. We can calculate and then standard deviation variation in the quartile range of five point summaries so that we calculated. So these things, you know, you have to understand. 